Who's buying short films today? Well, now that's obviously the ever-changing sort of question right now, right? I mean, with, with the new streaming platforms, new apps, the development and discussion about short content, short films, where the place of short films is in this sort of, sort of new world of streaming is like sort of the great unknown. It's something we're excited about because we think there's great potential for shorts to be its own big market. And I think it's something that we're trying to get behind and, and really excited about. Um, outside of obviously the big question or sort of the broad answer, there are specific companies that are looking for content, short content. Uh, we work with a few of them and one of them is Dust. They look for sci-fi films. So their specific content they're looking for is sci-fi. So uh, we're sci-fi adventure, you know, the, the kind of realm of you know, science fiction, VFX, VFX and, and things like that. But they're looking for those films. Um, so we like to talk with them and work with them all the time. We love a great film. Hey, we have a great sci-fi film here. Take a look. You know, they like it. They could acquire, non-exclusive, you know, so their deals are fair and, and you get more exposure. So it's kind of win-win for everyone. And they also have a company, I don't know if it's sister company or just their other streaming company is Alter. And Alter does horror films. So their focus is more horror thriller. And so they're, they're both obviously genre-based, but really cool areas of distribution opportunities for, for filmmakers looking for that and getting exposure and actually getting acquired. Now, again, in an exclusive way. So they're not taking your film and taking the IP or really anything like that. So, you know, it's definitely an opportunity for filmmakers to get more exposure and have another place to, to get distribution. Um, and of course, everyone knows Shorts TV. Shorts TV has been doing it a long time. So they're always acquiring shorts and they're linear on, on DirecTV and AT&T and all that stuff, Uverse. So they're on television. And uh, so that's their area or angle. And they're always looking for shorts all the time. So they've, but they've been doing it for a while. Um, but they're not in the streaming aspect. The streaming aspect you see in companies like The Dust and stuff, and then you have Crunchyroll, does anime. So there's all these different sort of, uh, at the moment, apps that are focused, apps or websites focused on direct, direct markets, right? So anime, Crunchyroll, sci-fi, Dust, you know, things like that. Um, you know, there's the Crypt TV app, they do horror as well. So there's all these different uh, apps and websites that are focused on certain genres or styles of film that are looking to acquire shorts. Um, all different deals and different things as far as exclusivity or non-exclusivity. Um, but now that, that's, a, that's a big deal. Like this is something that's, that's ever-changing and growing. This wasn't, this, this wasn't the way 5, 10, 15 years ago. This is, you know, when we started, there was nothing. There was literally no shorts distribution. There was no, none of it. So there was no opportunity for shorts. They didn't have any place in a, in a distribution landscape. And now there's, there's, I'm just naming a few. There's so many more that are doing this. So it's, it's pretty wild to think of what can come you know, there's stuff focused on certain genres, and there's, there's also apps that are looking for just general short content um, and, and ever-changing. Uh, we have our own platform we're looking to build up and work on, and it's called BitPix. So BitPix TV is our website and our app. We're on Amazon and Roku, um, looking to grow that. Right now, it's a, it's a general shorts sort of landscape. We have shorts from all type of genres and everything that we have, sort of best of fest and things from the monthly screenings and films that we like, we have on the, on the platform. Um, and subscription based and so that's something that we're looking to grow and, and take to the next level it's something that's not at that place yet where it's huge and well known and, and you know universally known you know worldwide and things like that or you know but that's something we, we feel like can get there I think shorts have a huge market because worldwide people like watching shorts India, China, Europe Europe they love shorts so now if you have a place where everyone can focus on one area to go to you know when you think of hey, I want to stream certain TV shows, whatever you think Netflix now, what about shorts? If we have the place that everyone says, hey, I want to go to BitPix for shorts, you know, wouldn't that be amazing? If they can find all the best shorts in the world, they can find them there. You know, that's something that we're exploring, you know, and, and it's something I think the audience is now there more than ever because, again, TVs are not TVs anymore. It's your phone. You can literally sit on your phone and watch stuff anywhere you are, and it's something that young generations are growing up doing. So we're all trying to figure out how to capitalize on this and make this be the next thing. So maybe short filmmakers and short content creators can make more money, can have their shorts made and get a bigger audience than just really cool festivals or some, some eyeballs on some streaming sites and stuff, but be recognized worldwide, you know, in a different way. And I really do think that this is where things are going. I think in the next five to 10 years, it's going to be a big change and shift for what the perception of shorts is. We talked about earlier, what do short films mean? What, is, what, are, what are shorts? And then 15 years ago, yeah, it was just... Hey, you made a cool thesis film or art film, you should try to show it at a festival, and that, that's what it was. And then you, it was just strictly a calling card. That film couldn't make you any money, that film couldn't be its own thing, none of that. Now, there's so many places and avenues and ways a short can go. Whether it's distribution, whether it's a, it is a calling card, whether it's just a, a short to be a feature, whether it's a TV series, whether it's you just make great shorts, and that's all you do is make awesome shorts, and that's what you do. You don't have to necessarily just be, hey, I made a short to go, to be a, to, to, to go make a feature film or to showcase myself. No, you can make great shorts and tell short stories in a way that can be your calling card in that way, not like just to go on and do something else. So 
this whole world with all these different apps and platforms that are looking for films. And there's a way to make some money. There's a way to get more exposure. Um, it's just, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely something that, I mean, it's just changed the whole landscape of what we're doing. And that's why we've even seen more submissions. Not only the growth of the festival, but the fact that more people are making short films than ever before in the world. It's just, it's just a fact. So it's really exciting. I mean, you have those platforms. There's Vimeo does their staff pick. So you have Vimeo staff pick for exposure and they do that. Um, there's uh, Short of the Week and that website and that, 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 you know, they do that. So Short of the Week is a place where they'll pick out their short and expose them and give you a sort of stamp of approval for your film. They do that and that's really cool. So you have these different sites and whether it's sites, whether it's apps, that they're looking for content. So now, and not only just them, at and is doing contests all the time, looking for content. You know, they've done promotions with us. And so at and is looking for stuff for their channels all the time for TV. They're looking for shorts and they're doing contests for short filmmakers to give them prizes. Like, it's just... It's sort of this new wild west new world like there's actually opportunities to not just showcase yourself and make money and also get garnish more exposure than ever before which is is really cool i mean to be a part of that is something we couldn't have foreseen back then but now as we've positioned ourselves as a strong festival and things and in the short space we want to see how we can push this thing further and grow you know the online capability and the app capability and all the festival all of it to grow to new heights and and to just make short films the the new sort of new premiere content. You know, I think there's a there's a chance and I think that's pretty cool. And I think there's something that definitely, you know, the next five to 10 years we're gonna see keep changing.